Hey, what's up guys? So today we're out here at a construction site and we're gonna be making a map with the DJI Phantom 4. Let's get into it. All right, so right now we're just setting everything up. We got the props on the drone. I'm gonna power up my remote. I'm gonna plug in the phone and the software we're gonna be using to make this map today is gonna be Drone Deploy. So we're gonna load up Drone Deploy on my phone. I already have this area mapped out on Drone Deploy. So all I'm gonna do is load up the Drone Deploy and press fly. I got my drone deploy all pulled up. You see this is eight acres. It's gonna take 15 minutes or 16 minutes basically to fly. I'm flying it at 190 feet. It's gonna take one battery and it's gonna be 337 images. So let's set the phone up, remote's on. Let's turn the drone on. Now what this is gonna do is it's basically gonna take a whole bunch of pictures of this job site and then it's gonna, we're gonna put them into drone deploy and it's gonna compile all the pictures and make one big, like a Google map and it'll make me a 3D map of this, this area so we can, we can see what's going on here. All right, so we got everything linked up. We got the drone deploy here. We're gonna hit connect drone. It's gonna do all the pre-flight checks. No. I gotta use the SD card from this drone. I forgot an SD card at home. All right, so we passed all the checks. It looks like the map's gonna take 14 minutes to complete, and all we have to do is just hit start flight. The drone will initialize, motors will start, and she'll go up. Check it out. Bro, the drone's not even connected to my drone deploy app, bro. All right, so we got the drone up here flying the route right now. It's about five to eight minutes in to flying this route. It's gonna be done in about six more minutes. And when it comes back, we'll be able to load the data into the computer and get the map that we need. Fully autonomously, not doing anything. All right, so the drone just finished up making the map. Let's turn it all off and pop the SD card out and upload the data. All right, guys, so we're back at the desk. We got all the images uploaded to Drone Deploy. And you guys see, as soon as I pull it up, I have like a high definition Google map of the area. So you see, I mean, you could see the bulldozer tracks very clearly. You could see the rock piles very clearly. But what's cool about drone deploy is you can hit 3D right here. And now you have a 3D map of the area. So, I mean, you could see, like I could see everything. See that bulldozer. And you can do things like measure distance. You could measure area. You can, uh, let's see, you can point things out. You can, there's volume tools, and then there's tools to fix problems with your map. But Drone Deploy is, it's, it's a really cool tool. Um, you could do a lot of different things for it. You could use it for construction. You could use it for personal use on your own properties. You could use it for farming. You could use it for... You use it for a bunch of different things. It's a very useful tool for anyone with a DJI GPS drone. I mean, it's very easy to use. You just set it up, set the mission up, and then press start, and the thing just takes off and, and goes wherever you need it to go. I mean, it's it's pretty straightforward. Um, the only problem with drone deploy is it is a little bit expensive. Um, it's like 250 or $300 a month, so you definitely do have to have jobs with drone deploy to, to be using it. Otherwise it's just not cost effective. It's, it's really expensive, but if it's something that you can afford to use, it's definitely a good tool and it's something I recommend. Um, all right. So I think that's going to be it for today's video. Hopefully we'll see you guys in the next one.